explain a little bit about what our intention is behind Boxes of Love. So I started taking my son to swimming lessons in Manchester and there were homeless people on the side of the road and I was uncomfortable and awkward and um, you know, a little scared, a little ashamed, feeling helpless. And so I started to hand out bottles of water and, and warmers and uh, a granola bar. And everything changed when one man pulled his sleeping bag aside and I locked eyes with him. And I realized I was looking at a human being, not just a homeless person, but a human being. And that is what launched me into feeling like I had to do more. So I started out just wanting to make 20 boxes. And um, at the last minute, I grabbed a box back, and uh, Bernadette took over, and um, that was amazing. Together, we started to get more and more people interested. Um, but the idea behind Boxes of Love is to give someone more than what they need. You know, not to throw pairs of socks at them and, and mittens and say, you know, okay, I'm absolved, but to actually make a human connection with them. Because if they feel worthy of love and belonging, and they feel worthy of our time and our attention, and we, and we humanize them, then that just, it's, 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 um, it's room for them to grow. So where there's love, there's hope. That's what Boxes of Love is all about. Where there's love, there's hope. So um, that's our mission. I am so grateful to the Candia Education Association. Sorry, I forget that wrong. Um, for sponsoring this event. We have more people coming in. Um, this is amazing. Thank you, thank you. And, um, and we're ready to start building boxes, guys. So I need and everybody to pick Like us. Oma says. Oh, like Oma says. <laughs> I'm sorry, many hands make light work, so. I'm overwhelmed. for all these two have done stay tuned for us.